Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about fake news. Mark Twain quoted Benjamin Disraeli when he said, there's three kinds of lies, lies, damned lies, and statistics. And then there's CNN. Sometimes CNN simply makes stories up and then pursues them year after year, like Russia collusion. Other times they simply refuse to report on important stories like Joe Biden's dementia and child groping. But a third type of CNN lie is when they give you just enough information and innuendo to lead you to the wrong conclusion. Like this story, Glacier National Park, one of America's original 10 national parks, had over 100 glaciers when it was founded in 1910. Now a couple dozen are large enough to be considered glaciers, and all of them have suffered tremendous melt, according to the park. Some of Glacier National Park's glaciers have lost as much as 80% of their size. Wow, that sounds really bad. We have messed up the climate with our fossil fuels, and now all the glaciers are going to disappear. But before we go ahead and submit to world communism, let's look a little bit deeper into the history of glaciers. Here's a newspaper article from 98 years ago. Glacier National Park melting at a rapid rate in scientists' opinion. Sperry Glacier, studied by Professor Waterman, has lost one quarter or perhaps one third of its ice in the past 18 years, he said. If this rapid retreat should continue, the professor added, the glacier would almost disappear in another 25 years. So the glacier lost one third of its ice between 1905 and 1923. That probably didn't have anything to do with your SUV. The professor predicted that the glacier would be gone by 1948 but it's still here now, so apparently that prediction wasn't accurate. And here's an article about Glacier National Park from 1924. Say, new generation may never see National Park. Massive ice hills and glacier monument to disappear next century. The glaciers now are only small remnants of their former great ice masses. So CNN didn't bother to mention that much of the ice loss occurred before 1924. Here's another article from the Arizona Republic from 1936. Question, will the glaciers in Glacier National Park eventually disappear? Dr. F.E. Mathis of the United States Geological Survey estimates that at the present rate of regression, the glaciers will vanish within 25 years. So scientists predicted that Glacier National Park would be ice-free by 1948 and now 1961. The glaciers didn't disappear in 1948, so in 1952, experts changed their prediction to 50 years, which would have been the year 2002. Well, that didn't happen either, so in 2009, National Geographic predicted that the glaciers would be gone by 2020. That's this year. Until this year, Glacier National Park had signs up predicting the ice would be gone by 2020, but they quietly removed them this year because people can see that the glaciers are still there. And here's a story from the New York Times from six years ago. Glacier National Park. What will they call this place once the glaciers are gone? A century ago, this sweep of mountains on the Canadian border boasted some 150 ice sheets, many of them scores of feet thick, plastered across summits and tucked into rocky fissures high above parabolic valleys. Today, perhaps 25 survive. In 30 years, there may be none. So originally, scientists predicted that the glaciers would be gone by 1948, and now they are predicting that they'll be gone by the year 2044, almost a century later. Now let's look at what's actually going on in Montana. Over the past few winters, they've been having extreme cold. Here's an article from February 28, 2019 in the Washington Post. Montana just endured one of the nation's most exceptional cold spells on record. And in March of 2019, Montana got down to 46 below zero, which was the coldest March temperature ever recorded in that state. If you really want to understand what's going on with climate, talk to a geologist, because we have to understand climate. We were the original climate scientists before climate modelers hijacked the term. Let's read what the United States Geologic Survey has to say about the history of glaciers in Glacier National Park. The history of glaciation within current Glacier National Park boundaries spans centuries of glacial growth and recession, carving the features we see today. Glaciers were present within current boundaries as early as 7,000 years ago, but may have survived an early Holocene warm period, making them much older. 
These modest glaciers varied in size, tracking climatic changes, but did not grow to their Holocene maximum size until the end of the Little Ice Age, around A.D. 1850. While they may not have formed in their entirety during the Little Ice Age, their maximum perimeters can be documented through mapping of lateral and terminal moraines. This article doesn't explicitly say it, but the implication is that the glaciers may not have existed during the medieval warm period and may have formed in their entirety during the Little Ice Age. So these are not ancient glaciers. They may not have existed 500 years ago and reached their peak size around the year 1850. And if we go back 6,000 years, Earth's climate was much warmer. The Arctic Ocean may have been periodically ice-free 6,000 years ago, around the time when Stonehenge was built. Those druids must have had some pretty powerful SUVs. In this article, CNN is lamenting the loss of ice in Glacier National Park since 1910. Now let's take a look at what was actually going on in Montana in 1910. This week in 1910, the largest fire in U.S. history burned in Idaho and Montana. It burned up 3 million acres in just over 6 hours. To put that in perspective, that single fire had as much burn acreage as has burned in California so far this year. 1910 had the warmest march on record in the United States, with 84% of days across the country above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This caused all the snow to melt early, which led to the catastrophic fires in Montana during September 1910. So March 1910 was the warmest march on record in the United States, whereas last March was the coldest March temperature ever recorded in Montana. CNN wants you to believe that it was cold and snowy in Montana in 1910, there was lots of ice, and your SUV is destroying it all. But nothing could be further from the truth. Toto was originally planning on covering the glaciers in Europe in this video too, but this is enough material. He thinks that there's lies, damn lies, and CNN. You can visit Toto and Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com.